Trench coats and great coats are both garments with military origins, although the Great coat long predates the trench coat's World War I debut. They will have some elements in common, such as epaulets. Trench coats are traditionally made of a cotton gabardine, and their primary purpose is to just keep you dry. They can provide some warmth, especially if they've been lined, but principally they are going to be a lighter garment that is going to be well suited to the fall and spring. Great coats, per the name, are large, heavy garments typically made from wool with a primary purpose of keeping you warm. Because they're made from wool, they have a certain natural resistance to rain, but they will eventually hit saturation, at which point your already heavy coat is now a lead weight. And if you want to get really technical, great coats are a subcategory of overcoat, while trench coats are a subcategory of top coat, with the distinction between overcoat and top coat boiling down to their respective weights and lengths. But honestly, I have no issue with just calling them both overcoats. 